Hey y'all, so day whatever of Vlogmas. I'm on the way to lab, so. I forgot what, my hair is like a mess. I can't, I just can't, but anyways. <sighs> but yeah, I'm about to start this some insects. <laughs> It's a pretty quiet day at the lab. Only two people are here. <laughs> Wait, three. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to update y'all on the full moon thing when I get back home. I'm only going to be in the lab a little bit because I got too much going on. I need to take care of. But yeah, so I will catch y'all back later. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm back. My lab mates procrastinating. They went to go to the vending machine. So, but <laughs> any excuse not to do work? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, this is what I do. Sorting insects. What I do is I put the insects in these vials. Hopefully you can see it. Here, let me get a bigger one. But yeah, just these vows and yeah, so these are from my mesocosm experiment and some are from the stream. This one I think is from, yeah, it's from one of the um, experiments. But the ones from the experiments are less diverse than the ones from the stream. So these are going by pretty quickly. I'm actually finishing it up today. And yeah, I got one more sample left where I get all the insects out of. Um, yeah, and so that's pretty much it. Um, I so after I finish, I will go back through and like identify all of these insects. Hopefully, can you see? Let's see, yeah. Sorry, my nails are. <laughs> so I'll go back and sort through all of these insects and identify them. And like I said, it'll be easy because, you know, the stream ones, it'll take, you know, a while, but the ones from Louisa Cosm should be fairly quick. like. The ones, you know, I'm not even going to talk about it. You got to wait till it's published. But obviously, <laughs> the samples that are more clean, that had cleaner water, are going to be like more diverse, you know, with mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies, <laughs> and all the other flies. Whereas the ones with the treatments, with the more contaminated water, will be less diverse. So, and that's kind of what I'm seeing so far. But yeah. And so that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna do any microplastic stuff today. Um, yeah, just all about getting these insects out so they're ready to be identified tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I like my hat again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited. Um, yeah, I can't wait to talk to y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit more about the, um, the full moon. Oh, and yesterday I finished, um, editing a podcast that is now available. So that's what I did yesterday and earlier this week, you know, just, you know, more work. <laughs> Pretty much it. Um, dealing with the cats who are super hyper around the full moons. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so I'm back home, you know, chilling for a little while before I get back to work. On a computer i still have to finish up some edits on a paper mainly just addressing some comments but um yeah so i'm gonna do that but i did say I, when i got home i was gonna talk about the gemini full moon last night and so the full moon energy it lasts um you know some people say three days before three days after i say it lasts 
until you get closer towards the last quarter. So, you know, you can continue to work with the energies. Um, but, you know, working with the moon is more about, if you want to work with it more in a tangible way, it can be more about um, your goals and like setting goals. And so I did do a video about that, which I'll link somewhere b above here like I do <laughs> the other video so um so that's neither here nor there I did want to talk about the Gemini moon last night though because um yeah I mean I was loving the energy to be honest um I like I'm a Gemini moon sign like my moon sign is in Gemini or my sign my moon is in Gemini. <laughs> I just messed that all up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I was enjoying it. <laughs> Want to talk more about, like, meditation and sort of a particular download I received. So I'm not going to talk about everything because I did do some manifestation work along with the meditation. And, um... Yeah, so I have like a bunch of notes here. Um, I usually, so whenever I do any manifestation work, um, any rituals, anything like that, um, and mainly for me, what that really means is just meditation. Um, I usually do a follow-up tarot or oracle reading just to um, follow up with you know, my spirit team and um, get any additional insights that I might have missed or overlooked, particularly important, I feel like, with meditation because, um, you know, sometimes we get distracted during meditation or there's like, we will get certain keywords, but because when we get back down to reality like our brain we process it we might be processing it differently than how it was meant to be received or you know we're still in that growing process so um when we get certain downloads during meditation it might be similar to our dreams where like certain things will happen or we'll see certain things but we won't exactly know what it means for us in our lives um so yeah, that's why, you know, a lot of times with any meditation manifestation type work, I like to follow up with like a tarot reading or something or oracle reading. So I followed up and um, I was very, I got amazing reading like after my, you know, manifestation meditation. <laughs> And yeah, so um, the uh, Egyptian gods, uh, <laughs> the Egyptian gods Tahuti and Heru came up, which were great for me. What that it basically means is like the manifestations were successful, any blockages were removed, and I am ready to hit the ground running on what it is. I'm not going to go into any particular details because, you know, no matter how much, you know, my guides and, you know, the tarot confirms or the oracle confirms, I still like to protect my manifestation. So I don't like to go in, I don't want to go into too much detail here. But one of the downloads I received, which, um, was again, it was after the meditation, um, using the cards, I thought was like very, um, it might be useful for some people out there. So one of the downloads for a particular meta, um, manifestation, which, you know, we, a lot of us who are more into the metaphysical arts, um, I already know this, but I feel like I should elaborate on it a little bit on what I received. So 
the basic message here was um, work on um, work on the subconscious to reflect the growth in whatever you want to see growth in. So um, basically, you, what you think your subconscious, what you think uh, it will be reflected in your real life. So if you want a lot of money, um, you know, you have to reprogram your subconscious to do that. And so a lot of us already know that, like, you know, if you want to be whatever makes you happy, or if you want a person, place or thing, you have to reprogram your subconscious and to, um, and it will be reflected in your 3D, your material world, or maybe even your emotional, your inner world. Maybe you just want to build up like your self-confidence or something. The other thing is, okay, so I got don't project frustration. You have to have faith in order to strengthen your intuition. And so um, essentially what I was getting there was that um, it's that concept that in order to manifest something, you have to change the emotions behind the manifestation. So a lot of us... Um, we will do manifestation work. Let's say um, you want a new car or something like that. Um, how to get that manifestation to arrive faster. Aside from the action and the visualization, how you really get it is like, you have to actually learn how to feel what it will feel like to have that car or that family or, you know, that successful career or whatever. And that's the part that's like the hardest because after you finish your manifestation work, it's hard to keep that up. So you, um, you go about your day, something happens and you're thinking like, oh, I wish I had it. Um, or you're like frustrated that it's not happening, like you're focused on it in a negative way, even though you don't mean to do that, it still creeps through. And so what the download was essentially saying is like, figure out what is the, um, what is the negative emotion that you are feeling about your manifestations and work to remove that. So it's not just whether it's negative or positive, it's actually what is the emotion so if it's frustration, then you work on removing or changing your emo that frustrating emotion. And so um, why is it frustrating? It's because um, it might be disrupting your, um, your progression, you feel like, um, or it might be frustrating because it's not happening you know at the time like at the speed at which you want and so you really have to like try to connect the emotions the negative emotions together like the actual emotion and then what the cause of the emotion is and then you have to work to um change that but you have to be aware of it in order to change it. And so that was essentially why I received the download is because um, you need to be aware of it so that you can um, change the emotion behind it. And that way, so then when you feel frustration, frustration or um, however you process emotion, it doesn't have to be frustration, be like anger. So those are, Sometimes we put those in the same category, but they're, they're really two different emotions um, because they have, they usually have two different, um, or they have two different reasons behind the cause of that emotion. So something's not happening the way you want it to, so then you're frustrated. Um, somebody... Things aren't happening the way you want them to at the speed at which you want them to. So it causes frustration. 
but let's say things aren't happening the way that you want because it's a particular person who you cannot control to that is doing something to slow down your manifestation and so that causes you to be angry at that person whatever the reason is you need to figure out whatever the emotion is you need to figure out the reason behind that emotion and then you need to work to remove it to cleanse it out of your life and the other part of that download that i received was that you need to work on building faith that that manifestation will come through whatever it is you want me anything and um you build, you strengthen or you build your faith in that whatever you want is already there and you're going to achieve it. Then what that does is that strengthens your intuition. And so then your actions are aligned. Your actions start to be aligned with that manifestation because now that you have faith in it, you reprogrammed your subconscious by um, sort of working on eliminating those negative emotions associated with not having to achieve that manifestation yet. Then, um, or not even just manifestation, it could be just a confidence thing, like thinking you don't deserve that manifestation that you are trying to work on maybe it's not coming to fruition is because you have an emotion behind why you feel that you don't deserve it and you're not addressing healing or removing that negative emotion and so um whatever it is you need to have faith you know you work on the emotion and you build your faith in the fact that you're going to receive whatever you want to manifest. And then what happens is that building of faith within you strengthens your intuition because you already, you already know that what it is you want is out there. It's going to come to you eventually. <laughs> and, um, but by strengthening your intuition and having that intuition faith. is something you just feel similar to faith. You just believe intuition. You just feel, but those feelings, when they get strengthened, what that means is that you're going to be guided on the right path. So like, for example, um, let's go back to the car example. You want a new car, blah, blah, blah. Um, you get over any negative emotions that you're feeling before and you have faith that you're going to get this car that is going to manifest some way, somehow in your life. What happens after that is, um, now your intuition is getting stronger and stronger. So you start driving past, um, you know, these various car dealerships. And then your intuition is guiding you to one of these dealerships. So, you know, maybe on your everyday route to work, um, something in your intuition tells you to stop at a specific dealership along the route. So that's your intuition guiding you. Then um, maybe your intuition guided you there because that was the particular dealership that has the best deal for, you know, how your finances are set up. Like they have the best deal on that particular car that you want to manifest. And so you go to the dealership, you look at the car, you see everything or you um, get information on everything you need in order to provide to the dealership. Um, let's say you don't have enough money for the car at that time. Well, you know, you, you go back to your everyday life, you go back to your everyday routine. Um, and then your intuition is, starts guiding you towards, um, new work opportunities or 
new ways to make money on the side. Like you start, you know, you do your, you go on YouTube or something like that or online or you're on social media and you just happen to scroll by somebody who is making money, um, what? Making money on eBay. <laughs> and something in your intuition tells you, oh, I have some stuff I need to sell. Um, I happen to have a lot of, you know, expensive things, um, but I also like, you know, reselling or something like that. So I'll go that route and I will start doing that so that um, I can afford the car. But if your intuition was not strengthened, you would have been questioning um, if that's right for you. You wouldn't have even, you would have saw somebody um, talk about eBay or making more money or whatever method. And you would have just scrolled right by it or you wouldn't have had linked it to your manifestation or to the fact that you needed more money for that car. And so um, that's essentially what it's saying is like faith is required also to actually strengthen your intuition. So it's not like it always goes hand in hand. It's like the faith is required. Like once you have um, a high level of faith in something, then your intuition is going to start guiding you towards whatever it is that you want. But also don't forget, you also have to remove those negative emotions because if you have negative emotions behind what it is you want to bring in, that means that, I mean, essentially means you don't really have much faith that you're going to get what is already out there. Um, so you need to work on that. So this is kind of a roundabout way. I might edit it <laughs> to make it shorter, but yeah, it, it's really simple. Hopefully I explained it correctly, but that's the download I got and that I wanted to share. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and um, yeah, hopefully this helped somebody. Hopefully. <laughs> so anyways, I'm glad y'all stuck around for another vlog, miss. <laughs> and yeah, I am going to get back to making um, some more content for the podcast. I did post, you know, another podcast. So subscribe and more topics. I'll be, you know, moving over to the podcast and yeah, so definitely follow that because it's going to be a mix of, you know, it's, it's going to be like my YouTube channel where the, the topics are all over the place, but um, that's just me. Um, I'm the girl with like, you know, 20 different hobbies and I like everything. I like doing everything. I like talking about everything. Um, studying a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of stuff that is very different things. So, and I like to talk about it. So that's pretty much what it is. It's nothing, it's nothing I could do about it. It's just me. It's just my personality. Um, but I hope y'all enjoy it in some way or find something here that you like on any of my platforms. Um, but regardless, it doesn't hurt to like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> so please do that. I will check y'all, check on, or I will post another Vlogmas video. Um... Maybe this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's hard to keep up with all the... It's hard to find topics to talk about. I mean, I do a lot of stuff on the computer. Maybe I'll do that. But I have some, like, content, like, specific content that is going to have its own separate video. Um, but it might not be considered, like, a vlog. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I will check y'all out later. Bye.